Oh my God. After catastrophic twisters hit Iowa this week, the small town of Greenfield was reduced to splinters and rubble. It's just, it's devastating. You know, we'll start over and that's, that's fine. And I'm just thankful that we're all alive. Yesterday I was driving through here and everything was sunshiny and fine. And now there's crosses all over the buildings and okays and whether or not they got everyone out. It's just really, really weird. And you never ever think it's going to happen to you. Efforts to find survivors are still underway in the town with a population of just 2,100 people. It is still a, a search mission as far as we're looking to make sure all residents are accounted for. When we have this many homes that have been destroyed and just fully demolished, we want to make sure that every resident, every person is accounted for. It is just horrific. It's hard to describe uh, until you can actually see it, the devastation. The U.S. has entered what is known as tornado season, with multiple twisters leaving towns devastated. There have been 859 confirmed tornadoes so far this year. That's 27% above normal. And in what is being called an extremely rare occurrence, the twister that hit Greenfield was strong enough to pull down multiple wind turbines. The wind farm directly hit by the tornado recorded wind speeds of over 160 kilometres per hour before impact. According to officials, the initial ranking of the Greenfield tornado was a category EF3. However, it's set to rank much higher in severity once damage assessments are finished. But it's not over yet for America's Midwest, with tornado season forecast to continue until early July. Amy Marr, ABC News.